Okay, question number seven. What is the mass of 250.0 milliliters of ethanol? The density of ethanol is 0.789 grams per milliliter. Okay, this is a slightly different type of problem than the ones we've been doing. And yet it isn't. Okay, so we look at this. In parentheses, the density of ethanol is 0.789 grams per milliliter. Because that's in parentheses at the end, that's probably just a piece of information we're giving you. It's not where you're going to start. So the actual question, what is the mass of 250 milliliters of ethanol, there's only one number in there. So we're starting with 250.0 milliliters. What are they asking us to find? Mass. What's a unit of mass? Grams. That's the most common one we use in chemistry. So then we have to figure out, can we go from milliliters to grams? Well, now look in the parentheses. Does it give you something that relates grams and milliliters? It does, the density. So we're going to use density as a conversion factor. So when you have that density like that, write it out like this, 0 0.789 grams per milliliter. That looks more like a conversion factor, doesn't it? The slash is nice. It's so much easier to type on the, on the computer. Doing it vertically requires either doing some really weird things with underlines and tabs, which is just really the hokey, stupid way to do it, or opening the equation editor and making an equation. Either way, it's just kind of difficult, and so we use a slash because it's so much easier. But then if you use the slash when you write it by hand, you're going to possibly overlook that it's a fraction and that it is a conversion factor. So we're going from milliliters to grams. One step. 250 milliliters. One arrow, one fraction. Milliliters to grams. Milliliters to grams. We divide by the previous unit so those cancel out. And then we need the relationship between grams and milliliters. That's the density. So we look, what's the number in front of gram? It's 0 0.789. So that has to stay in front of gram. What's the number in front of milliliter? There was no number. If that bothers you, put a 1. And now do the math. 250. times 0.789. Why was 6 afraid of 7? Because 789. <laughs> because 789. And so 6 was afraid that 7 was going to eat it too. <laughs> yeah, it is funny. So the unit here is gram. That's, that's, the equa that's the number that the calculator gives us. And then we have to think significant figures. Okay, how many significant figures in 250.0? Four. Okay, we have trailing zeros. Those are the ones that mess us up. There's a decimal point in the number that makes all the trailing zeros significant. If there's no decimal point, none of the trailing zeros are significant. In this density, is this density an exact number? No. It's measured. So this has three significant figures. So which is smaller, three or four? Three. So this should have three significant figures. 197 grams. You could also put that in scientific notation. Um, running out of space. Ah. That would be 1.97 times 10 to the 2 grams. But we need a 3, right? We need 4 significant No, we need 3. Because you go by the smaller one. So 0.789 is only 3 significant figures. Yeah. 